Well, we're on day whatever of the Bahamian lockdown. We are actually uh, walking the dog. So this little sandy island, oh, it's got a few trees. Um, we are allowed to bring our dog to relieve itself here. So we've got Tybee on the beach and we're trying to observe uh, you know, the lockdown. So basically, we didn't leave yesterday since we did not think that we could get through the Bahamas and not be stopped. Um, and it's unclear even now whether or not we could tra travel uh, between islands. We've gotten some conflicting uh, information from different Royal Bef Defense Forces uh, or island administrators and even from the embassy, the U.S. Embassy. So, you know, we're trying to to stay and do the right yeah, thing. Yeah, Tybee and Wyatt's a playing. All right, so back to what I was saying. So we weren't sure that we could get through the Bahamas in time. And my gimbal's messing up, I don't like it. So we, uh, we weren't sure we could make it through in time. Uh, before the lockdown and we weren't sure if anybody was gonna force us to, to stay in a place that say we didn't want to be and so we got pretty good protection here pretty good access to resources so rather than leave you know we said we're gonna stay now this morning a boat decided that it was leaving and you know even we've gotten multiple conflicting uh, pieces of information uh, from various government uh, components, different Bahamas Defense Force uh, people, different island administrators. So he made the decision uh, to leave, you know, to, to basically take the risk and go, and to basically uh, try to get back to the United States or to a U U.S. port. And the Bahamas is encouraging us to leave and to get back, and our embassy is encouraging us to leave and get back. So they hoisted sails and started sailing away. They were immediately called by uh, one of the cruisers who you could tell that they were just really put out that these people were leaving and uh, they commanded them to come back to, to port They basically said you are not allowed to travel during this lockdown and you're putting all of us cruisers at risk which is a grand overstatement by far you know if you're complying with Bahamian law you're good and if someone is doing something that you know, presents no threat whatsoever to you, you're fine. But some people just can't stand the fact that you might make decisions on your own and take off, right? They, they're, I wanna call it, and sometimes there's just too many uh, self-anointed uh, wannabe dictators themselves that need you to conform to what they think is the right ideal or else they go crazy. So the, uh, the skipper who was leaving just politely said that, Lo, I have a different interpretation from you guys, and so I'm moving on. So two of those people decided that they were calling the police. So they called the Bahamian police, the local police here, who relayed it to the defense forces, who apparently have done nothing um, to those people at all. So maybe that's the indication that we are free to move about. Um, Anyway, I'm sure that wherever you are in quarantine, there are people who have um, eyes on you if you're not doing exactly as they expect you to do. And I wouldn't be surprised if, uh, well, there was a great deal of neighborly animosity when all this is said and done. And, you know, just from my point of view, if you're not gonna harm somebody, and if you're alone on your sailboat and you're trying to get back home, which you're going to be alone by yourself for four or five days getting back where you're going. And in the case of the Europeans who are here, five weeks, um, you're not hurting anybody. So, you know, we should all keep, you know, actions we see in context and bear that in mind. Anyway, we're still here. Looks like we'll be here for a while.